Okay, I'm Water Sports here with Marlena Sparza. Uh, just pro, pro debut, just finished. Uh, tell us, what do you think? How do, how do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I mean, I'm excited that I was. I always kept telling myself it's the beginning of like a new a new situation, like mm -hmm. a, a new life. So I'm really happy about this, about how I did. Mm -hmm. uh, I did want to stop her. Like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I saw it. I kept seeing it. I was like, it's there, it's there. But that was like the amateur situation where you just yeah. don't, don't stay calm. Yeah. But it's a good understanding, to be honest. Like mm -hmm. I understood where I could have settled down. Could have got it done. I felt like I was letting stuff, but the rip was just like, it's cool. A lot of nerves, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Going so, on, yeah. Um, but as far as like my performance and just like showing the level that I'm at and being able to like not get hit and and those things, I thought I thought I did well. So yeah. I'm really happy about like how as an athlete and as a boxer that I perform as as a boxer for yeah. for us in general. What What's the biggest difference would you say now having your pro debut between the amateurs and the pros? What's the biggest difference? It's like such a hype. The hype, the hype is real. Like, <laughs> like, like Jay said, like I'm done in the hype. Like, no, for real. Like, I was like, cause I do like uh, 14 minute rounds, like five days in a row. Yeah. Sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. But it's like all about the actual situation, what's going on, and your performance level. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm going right into six rounds again. Yeah. I only asked for one four rounder. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of that. It's mm -hmm. like, wow. It's like all, all around one fight. It's like, wow. I get to wake up in the morning. I do anything. It's, it's kind of the difference to me. Yeah. Obviously, no headgear, but so much better. Yeah. That no headgear is so much better. Yeah. Um, Gotta show up the hair, too. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, I think that's a, the, the, the huge the difference for me. It's like the the fact that it goes from being just getting it out to mm -hmm. actually surrounding the, the, the trouble, the, the struggle that it takes to get to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. People actually appreciate it in the pros. Mm -hmm. And the amateur is just like, no one sees that. It's just like, get in, get out. Right. And the pros, people appreciate that there's an actual process, a mm -hmm. camp and everything that goes into it. And I think that's the big difference. Right, and then it culminates to the big part. Yeah, part, which is yeah. true. And I think it should be that way because it's a lot of trouble. Right. It's um, it's not the easiest thing to get to get a uh, fight ready. Mm -hmm. So people are actually seeing in the pros versus the amateurs they're just like oh go and like kill yourself and it doesn't matter yeah. so it, it, it's a good thing though I like I love this a lot more this is so much more I didn't even think I was like a, a pro person but Jesus it, it really is like I really love this a lot more than N I knowing that do you feel you made it would have made the move sooner god yes yeah. I would have totally gone pro way sooner because I I didn't realize how much I wanted this like the hype the, to see me to like look at me like this is what I'm doing mm -hmm. because in the in the amateurs like you have all that going in your camps and your in your pre's but when you go into the fight you don't realize that you want it because it's just like win hurry up and win mm -hmm. get out of the ring and you're gonna fight your right. fight again. that's <laughs> yeah. it so I'm I would have gone pro like any uh, any now. word from uh, from Golden Boy when we're gonna see you again yeah um, they said I'm gonna find under the Canelo and Chavez on their card. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> on the televised part, on the yeah. opening well, of the card. Yeah. Well, everything's gonna be televised. That's um, excellent. Yeah, because. Yeah. As, as a female, I had to make sure that if I do something with a promoter, it has to be televised. Mm -hmm. And again, that's why Golden Boy, I really appreciated yeah. them because they were real willing to like mm -hmm. take that risk with me, which I'm totally willing to deliver. Mm -hmm. So uh, because of my performance and because they saw that people actually liked what was happening, there's a good turnover, everything was well, then we're going to head and do that. So I don't that's know awesome. where, in, where on the televised yeah. part I'll be, but I'll be there. Yeah. And you said, so that's going to be a six-rounder then? Yes. Because oh, okay. I don't want any four-rounders again. Four-rounders yeah. get me all weird yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm so used to four rounders where it's like oh we, I know the process mm -hmm. um, I wanted one for my first fight because obviously I've never been fighting with that head gear mm -hmm. but um, I'll do a six rounder easy mm -hmm. continue on right? and just speak really quickly um Carisha Shields just headlined her own show. I mean, women's boxing is really obviously your your debut was on TV on the on the debut of Golden Boys uh, deal with ESPN. I mean, you guys are getting a lot of exposure right now. Just kind of speak on on this era right now in women's boxing. This, to be honest with you, um, it's kind of like it's a hard thing to talk about the the process that uh, we've been through because. First of all, there's two aspects of it for me as an individual. 
One is that I've seen women's boxing like been shitted on. I've seen it like not been appreciated. And we go through the same thing that, that men go through, but probably just a little bit harder mm. uh, because even the lowest of men who don't get appreciated, it's even below that is the women. Mm. So um, we've had to work our way up and I feel like it's a good time. And there's other pros that have are putting in work and are doing really well. Blur Shields is like a legit fighter. Mm. So for us to have somebody who is able to get on a pro card and get on their first pro fight, second pro fight, will win win a belt, like win a title and do that and like be phenomenal at it, I think it's a good thing. Blur Shields is um, a really, really good fighter and I don't think that any of the pros before her had that um, mm. they don't have the talent, I'm not gonna lie. And anybody who says anything about her, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. She's obviously learning her way. Mm. But I think that has to do with all of us. All the amateurs are learning their way. Mm. But I think our our uh, talent level is it's different. Mm. That's one. Mm. Second, as an individual, um, it's different for me because obviously I have the uh, whole Latino community behind me. Um, I've been a big name in the sport period. And then third, like I feel like my talent level speaks a lot differently from Frank Clark. She's a lot aggressive. You expect her to fight like that. Um, she has that name. And um, they always expect me not to be able to fight. So everyone just thinks like, oh, there's that one girl who like has stuff and you know she's cute and that's why she has it. But then they see me fight and they're like, oh, wow, she can actually fight. So I feel like it's a different type of struggle for me to get and um, be appreciated as a fighter as much as I want to be, you know, so like I'm sorry I was born this way. <laughs>